Hello, good morning everybody. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I am so excited to see you. How are you doing this morning? How are you doing? You're feeling good? Me too, I'm feeling really good even though it's been so hot outside. It's so hot outside, but it's still a wonderful day, a really special day. Why is it so special today? Yeah, but something else. We have a really awesome friend back with us. We have Miss Alice. Miss Alice is back with us. Say hi to Miss Alice. Hi. Hi, my friends. I'm Miss Alice and I'm excited to be back with you. Guess what, Miss Kendra, guess what? What? It is the first day of school. It's a new school year. It's a new school year. It is, and we're gonna learn a lot of new things or review a lot of new things. Yes, are you excited? I'm excited too. Me too. Let's take a look at the calendar. You remember this calendar? I'm really glad you do. Let's take a look at the days of the week. Now, I can see all the days of the week here. How many days of the week are there? How many? Okay, you remember there's seven days of the week. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. There's seven days in the week. What is today? What is today, right now, today? Well, it's the first day of school, yeah. It's also m Monday. It's also Monday. Today is Monday. If today is Monday, what is yesterday? What could that be? Sunday, Monday, Sunday? Sunday was yesterday. Today is Monday. What's tomorrow going to be? Hmm. T -t starts with a t sound. Tuesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday, that's right. So we know today is Monday. There's seven days of the week. Can you get out your seven fingers? We have two over here and five over here. Are you ready? We're gonna sing our seven days of the week song. Okay, let's do that together. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome job, thank you for singing with me. Now today is Monday, so I move this dot to Monday, it's the 17th. But what month are we in? How many months do we have? It's not seven, That's, we have seven days of the week. How many months of the year? How many months? Will you count with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 12 months in the year. We have 12 months in the year. Let's sing our 12 months of the year song. Are you ready for that? You got all your fingers out? Do you have 12 fingers? Probably not. Let's sing our 12 months of the year song, ready? There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. 
There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Awesome. So what is this month? What is the month right now? Hmm. It is August. We are in the month of August. Can you say August? Beautiful, August, thank you. We can say today is Monday, August 17th, and the year is 2020 your first day of school. Great job. We want to start out our morning with one more song. It's a song that has all the letters in it. Let's sing our ABCs. You ready? I'm going to clap my hands a little. You want to clap your hands with me? Okay, fantastic. Let's sing our ABCs. Ready? One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Thank you. Did you already sing with me? Well, thank you so much. Now that song is filled up with letters. Letters are really, really important. What else do you know that has letters? Yeah, what about your name? What about my name? Does my name have letters? Yeah, do your name have letters? Absolutely. So today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some of those very special letters. Mom and Dad, in the worksheets for today, you'll find your child's name, and there we're going to do some cutting so we can do some matching. I'll show you how I'm gonna do some cutting. So I'm gonna get my paper, my worksheet, and I'm going to sit properly in my chair, nice and straight so that my body is happy and comfortable with me. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need today are my scissors. Now, scissors are very sharp, is that right? Are scissors very sharp? Yes, yeah, scissors are really sharp. So, am I gonna be really careful with these scissors? Oh yeah, really careful with these scissors. And I can see then when I look at these scissors, one side has a smaller hole and the other side has a bigger hole. So I know that my thumb is gonna go into the smaller side and my fingers are gonna go into the bigger side, wherever they fit. Miss Kendra's hand's a little big for this scissor, but it may fit your hands, okay? So I'm gonna cut off the bottom letters because I'm going to match them to the top. Now, tell me if you recognize this name here. What's my name? Who's talking to you right now? Miss Kendra, that's right. So now I'm cutting my letters out nice and slowly and carefully because if we go fast oh goodness we might mess up might get a ouch you want an ouch no way so we're gonna cut all the way around so we can get each letter to match do you recognize some of these letters that you see up here on miss kendra's screen are they different than the letters in your name? 
Yeah, they are, huh? We all have our own name. Because if we all had the same name and everyone was Miss Kendra and Miss Kendra and Miss Kendra and your Miss Kendra, oh man, how do we find the right Miss Kendra? What is your name? Tell me your name. That's wonderful. I really like your name. Okay, so now I have all my letters cut out. Am I, I'm done with my scissors. Can I just toss it to the side? <gasps> I'm gonna hold it properly, safely, cover the sharp side, and I'm gonna put it back to where it belongs. Now we have all these letters. So we need to look at our letters and see, does it match to these letters up top? Okay, let's look at, let's pick one. What letter is this? What letter is this? R, that's an R, you're right. Now, let's see, does it match to the letters up here? Where does it match? Is that the same? Does that match? No? Here, does this match? Are those the same? No? Does this match? Not quite. Here? No. Does this match? Yeah, that does match. I see the same shape, letter R, the same letter. Okay, let's do another one. How about this letter? This is a letter, what? I'm holding the letter N. Let's find a match for letter N. Does it match here? It's not the same. Here? No. Here? Does that match? Yeah, those are the same letters. They match. Excellent job. Thank you so much for helping me. How about this letter? This one's big. This is a, a letter K. Thank you very much. Let's find the match for letter K. Do we see one up here? Does that match there? Is that the same letter? On the first try, we found it. That matches. A big K and a big K. How about this letter? What letter am I holding now? You got it, that's an E. Let's find the matching letter up here. Oh, we already found that one, it's not matching there. Does it match here? Is that the same letter? We got it again, you guys, excellent. Two more. What letter do we see here? An A, that's right. Let's match our letter A. Does that fit there? Does that match? No? Yes, we found it. Our A matches our letter A. We have one more letter. Where do you think it's going to match? Letter D. Letter D. Let's see. Does it match? No. No. Yes. The, all these letters together say Kendra. Kendra. I am Miss Kendra. Excellent job, you guys. I'm going to clean up my work here. And then we're gonna say hello to Miss Alice. Are you excited? Okay, I'm gonna put my things to the side and I'm going to tuck in my chair.
All right, see you soon. Say hi to Miss Alice. Hi, my friends. I am super excited to show you what we're gonna be doing today. So in the classroom, you may know that we work on practical life and practical life is something you can do at home and that's to help you develop some skills for future learning in language, math, sensorial, and a lot of future learning in schools. Okay, so come follow me. Let's go find our practical life. I'm gonna pull out my chair. I'm gonna sit nice and straight. Feet on the floor, okay. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to transfer with our whole hand from one container to the next container, okay? And you can use your other hand to hold it, to stabilize it so it doesn't move, okay? So let's get started. Miss Alice is using rice, but you can use different materials that you have at home, like pasta, beads, beans, pom-poms. Make it a little bit harder at the end to use your whole hand. Do the best you can. You can start using your fingers too towards the end to grasp every last material in your bowl. And this helps you with your hand-eye coordination and it helps your whole hand to work your whole hand muscles. And take your time, okay? Empty. And then you can just switch your pulls back. And now I'm done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our job away. But before you do that, you're gonna stand up, push in your chair by using your two, by using two hands. Hold your tray for two hands. And that's the end of the practical life job. So guess what we're gonna do now? We're gonna learn a new song. Me and Miss Kendra's gonna sing with you. Come on, let's join us. Are you excited, Miss Kendra? I am excited to sing a song. Yay! So we can learn it together and you can sing along with us. You guys ready? It's called We Welcome You. You ready, Miss Kendra? I'm ready. Awesome, let's get started. We welcome you to school today, school today, school today. We welcome you to school today. Please come learn and play. We're glad to see you here today, here today, here today. We're glad to see you here today. Yes, it's a special day. Woo! Yay! Should we sing it again? I think probably so. Okay, let's sing it again. You guys ready? <laughs> okay. We welcome you to school today, school today, school today. We welcome you to school today. Please come learn and play. 
We're glad to see you here today, here today, here today. We're glad to see you here today. Yes, it's a special day. Yay, that was awesome. Thank you. Thanks for joining us with the song. Okay, so now Miss Alice is gonna do some math with you. So let's go grab a rug. So this is Miss Alice's rug. You, if you don't have a rug at home, that's okay. You don't have to use a rug. Okay, so Miss Alice is gonna roll. The reason why Miss Alice uses a rug is because this is my workspace. I'm gonna work in my workspace, okay? So at home, you can have your own workspace and mommy and daddy can have their own workspace too. So that means mommy and daddy cannot touch anything on my workspace and you can't touch anything from mommy and daddy's workspace as well. Okay, so let's go grab the job. Okay. So you can see here, Miss Alice has this worksheet that your mommy and daddy can print out from the website and it's just one circle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place one item inside the circle. You do not have to use the worksheet, you can always make a circle yourself. So for instance, Miss Alice has a thread that she can make a circle. And we're gonna, just gonna put one item inside the circle, okay? So what Miss Alice is gonna do is she's gonna use the worksheet. But you don't have to, you can use the yarn. Okay, so let's see what I can find around the classroom or around the house to see, we, that, to see what we can put inside the circle. Remember, we're only putting one thing. Okay. Let's see. One shell. Can you guys say it with me? One shell. Now what should we do next? Let's put it away and find something else. One earth or one globe. Okay, let's put it away. Okay, let's see what else is inside the classroom that we can put inside our circle. One, what is it? One cube. That's right, one cube. What is this, my friend? It's, did you say cup? That's right, so let's put how many cup? One cup. So one cup inside the circle. What else can you put inside the circle? Can you guys tell me what you guys put inside the circle? That's awesome. I want to know how what other things you put in the circle. Remember, we're only putting one. Okay? Awesome, my friends. So let's put this back. Okay, now remember, once we're done, we have to clean up. Okay, let's see what Miss Kendra has for you. Right now, everyone, we're going to sit back down again on our mat and we're gonna talk about something really important, some ground rules, okay? And they're gonna be a little bit different than in the classroom because we're not in the classroom right now. We're on Facebook Live. So let's sit down and see some of these ground rules that are really important for you 
and your teachers here to follow so everyone is able to learn everything. Okay, so importantly, when we are watching our Facebook Lives, we are going to be all done eating. We're gonna finish our breakfast first or we're gonna start our breakfast after the Facebook Live. So when we're watching, we can focus, focus, focus. So we're not going to be eating. No eating during Facebook Lives. We're gonna be doing another thing. What do we do with our ears? They're for listening. That's right, when we're watching our Facebook Lives, when we're watching our class, our eyes are gonna be open and our ears are gonna be open, listening, listening, listening. Are your ears open now? Oh, good, 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 good. We're gonna keep them open, listening ears. Always have our listening ears. What's another good idea we should think about? Hmm. Should we be doing our worksheets and playing with toys? No, let's leave the toys for later. Before we get started learning our in our class, we're going to put toys away. Away from our workspace, right? Miss Alice told us we have our own workspace. And we do work in our workspace. We do we play with toys in our toy space. All right? So when we're working, we're putting toys away first. And thank you very much for that. Another really important thing, because we're not in the classroom right now, we're at home. We need to make sure we're prepared and ready, right? So we need to make sure every day we have all the materials we need. Do we need crayons? Hmm, maybe if we need crayons, we get it first. Do we need worksheets? Okay, we want all of it to be ready. So we must be prepared and ready. If we need a pencil, we gotta have a pencil with us. We are gonna be prepared and ready. All right, and one more thing. Priority one, have fun learning. That's what all your teachers really want for you to have so much fun learning. Do you like to have fun? You do? Well then let's have fun learning, let's do that. I'm really, really excited about starting our school year, school year with you. And so tomorrow, me and Miss Alice will see you again for your second day of school. But first, before we say goodbye, let's do a little bit of coloring. I'm gonna clean up my job here, and so I'm gonna take my tray back to the shelf, and then I need to roll up my mat. So I'm gonna come to the side, and I'm gonna roll up my mat with two hands. I'm gonna start with a small fold, I'm gonna roll and roll and pull close to me. I'm gonna roll and roll and pull close to me. Again, roll and roll, pull close. Roll and roll, pull close. Almost done. Roll, roll, voila. All finished. So I'm gonna take it back to where it belongs. If we leave things just out and about, we may lose them. I don't want that. So I put my things away, and now I'm ready to sit properly and use some crayons to color. Here, we see a picture of something. What is this a picture of? A school. So I'm gonna write my name up top. Do you have your name up top? Have you been practicing? Awesome, and the date. Now when I look at this picture, I see so many shapes. Do you see shapes in this picture? 
Yeah, it looks like a house. This is a school. This is a school. Let's see. Do you see this roof shape? What shape is that? What shape is that? A triangle. The roof is a triangle shape. That's right. Most roofs we see will be a triangle shape. How about, what shape is the door? What shape is the door? Rectangle, that's right. The door is a rectangle shape. I see lots of rectangles in this picture. So many. What shape should we color first? The triangle? I'm with you there. What color should we use? Green. I know. I know. Let's do it. Let's color green. What color are you choosing for your roof? Oh, that sounds nice. Is that your favorite? Awesome. Okay, I just am about done coloring this roof green. Now, it's a school. Should it be like a really fun color? Do you want a pink school? I wish. Let's have a pink school today. I'm gonna use my pink crayon to color the pink school. Wow, I've never seen a pink school. Too good to be true. You guys, that was so much fun. Thank you for coloring with me. Are you so excited to see Miss Alice every day? E me too. Okay, one more rectangle. It's going to be blue for the door. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. I think I'm going to add up some more color later. Maybe a sky. Maybe a tree. Undecided. But for now, I'm putting it to the side. I'm going to tuck my chair. So we can say goodbye, Miss Alice. Thanks for coming today. Thank you for joining us, my friends. It's a great first day back, Miss Kendra. Yeah, awesome. And we're gonna see you tomorrow for the second day of school. Yay. Bye bye. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow.